It's pretty hard to keep track of Nick Cannon's multiple children. He's welcomed 12 kids with different mamas since 2011. However, his real estate portfolio is slightly easier to keep tabs of, and most recently in fall 2022, Nick had purchased a new home for one of his baby mamas, Abby De La Rosa and their twin sons. Nick also owned a $3.2 million mansion in New Jersey, purchasing it in 2018 after renting to buy. But that was before he welcomed his fourth child. Clearly, a lot has probably changed since then. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In September 2022, it was reported that Nick Cannon bought a new home for one of his baby mamas, Abby De La Rosa, and their twin boys. The then pregnant DJ shared the exciting news on Instagram, as well as a first look at her new crib. At the time, Abby already had welcomed their twin sons, Zion and Zillion, who were born in June 2021. In June of the following year, Abby told her Instagram followers that she has another little one on the way. While she didn't explicitly name Cannon as the father of her upcoming arrival in the announcement, the Wild and Out host hinted that he was the father during a lip service podcast. Either way, Abby was grateful for the new family home, and we could see that his twins were loving it as well. In response to Abby's post about the home, Nick commented saying, it's the least I can do. Thank you for the unconditional love and the most precious gifts any human can ask for. Beautiful new beginnings. While we're unsure of the home's details, we can see that it's spacious and there's also a swimming pool out back for the kids to enjoy. In total, Cannon has had 12 children since 2011. Monroe, Moroccan, Golden, Powerful, Zeon, Zillion, Zen, Legendary Onyx, Rise, Beautiful Zeppelin, and Halo Marie Cannon. For when any of Nick's many kids come to visit, you know the host needs a large scaled abode to entertain them comfortably. Following his split from Mariah Carey, which seems like ages ago, Nick began renting to buy a luxe spread in the Saddle River area of New Jersey, which was costing him $11,000 per month. While he moved in back in 2015, he ended up purchasing the home for keeps in 2018, which was valued at around $3 million, and it's just an hour outside of New York. While Nick reportedly splits his time between Jersey and LA, where he films The Masked Singer, he likes having a home base on the East Coast, which is slightly off the radar. This brawling home offers up 8,371 square feet of space throughout, as well as six beds and eight baths. I mean, not enough bedrooms for 12 kids, but I'm sure you can add some bunk beds if they all were to visit at the same time. But so it's likely that interiors have changed a lot over the last few years. Nick's Saddle River home sits on just over two acres of land, while interiors boast a massive two-story foyer with a huge staircase, detailed with wrought iron railings and a stunning glass chandelier overhead. We're sure that Nick and his ever-growing clan have plenty of space in the mansion to roam, including in the main living area with multiple stone fireplaces. The home has 10-foot ceilings and cherry wood walls throughout, along with an elevator with access to all three levels. The great room boasts another epic chandelier, as well as floor-to-ceiling windows, a double-hide fireplace, and another living room nearby has bay windows as well as one of the other fireplaces. A beautiful kitchen is also complete with granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and yet another impressive chandelier. The posh home further has two terraces at the back which can be accessed from common rooms like the kitchen and are ideal for dining al fresco. Built back in 1989, the home underwent a ton of renovations in recent years, upgrading it for modern days. There's an extra guest bed and bath on the main level of the house as well as a cozy library. Not to mention, on a fully finished lower level at Nick's home, there's a fireplace, gym, sauna, steam room, and bed and bath. All of that, and we haven't even seen Nick's grand master suite, where he also has access to his own private elevator and an oversized ensuite bath with jacuzzi. Past the water views that can be seen from the home's interior, the grounds also host amazing views while the property has a partially fenced patio, a cabana, and patios to entertain. The large in-ground pool boasts a waterfall, while elsewhere there's a private pond with a dock, all of which is surrounded by grassy lawns. According to an interview with Men's Health, although Nick has a gym and ton of space at his Saddle River home, he keeps another private space in California. 
Nick reportedly has this office, gym, and recording studio building, also known as Incredible Studios, located in Studio City, California. This is where he does his work and hosts guests such as Snoop Dogg, Akon, and many more. In 2019, Nick decided to let go of one of his West Coast properties too. He long owned a less extravagant, more humbly sized abode in his hometown of San Diego. But although it was the same city he grew up in, it was a far cry from the conditions that he lived in when he was younger. He bought this house newly built in 2002 for $421,000, and it's located a few miles from Tula Vista in a community called Ote Ranch. Ote Ranch is a planned neighborhood or suburb that borders the Ote Open Space Preserve. While the two-story home was not as jaw-dropping as some of his other homes, it was still classy and comfortable. Inside, Nick's previous house offered 2,173 square feet with five beds and three baths. Outside, it included a palm tree topped yard, a concrete patio, and a spacious lawn with gorgeous views of the mountains. The living spaces throughout were neutral toned and carpet covered much of the living and dining areas. There were plenty of windows in the common spaces, offering views to the cozy backyard and letting in natural light. The Eden kitchen had a center island and tiled floors, while one of the family rooms nearby used the same flooring. Sliding glass doors led to the outside, so while the home was more modestly sized, it had plenty of space to entertain. Considering Nick has moved to New Jersey, or at least he still has a home there, he likely didn't have much use for this space anymore, despite needing to live in LA part-time for his show. He unloaded his San Diego house for over 603K, banking almost 200K on the sale. Well, I guess after checking out a couple of Nick Cannon's homes past and present, that'll wrap up this house tour. While we don't know his exact living situation in Los Angeles, where he spends a lot of his time right now, when we do know, of course, we're gonna report it here first. Until then, consider this question before you go. Would you ever want the responsibility of 12 children? Or for ladies, would you ever have a child with a man that had that many kids to begin with? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!